Hello and welcome to the fireside chat with Josh where there is no fire and there is no side but there is a penny loafers. How are you guys doing this evening? I'm just hanging out with Dwight Schrute. I'm actually not hanging out with Dwight Schrute because he's a fictional character and he's not here. Uh, even if he was real. I'm actually hanging out with Ashley. And I just wanted to... There's my paint! I knew I bought new paint! <laughs> Speaking of paint, guys. Check it out. I've been, uh... I've been working on the, uh... I was gonna say working on the painting, but... A painting would be... Make more sense. Anyways, I got some paint, like... Two days ago, and I couldn't find it. I was like, where the heck did I put it? It was right here on the desk. Um, anyway, uh, decided to hop on here to say hello and what up to everyone. And also to remind folks, with the April sale... Hey, don't drink my water. With the April sale, uh, we're handling it like uh, like individually. Like we don't, we don't have like an automated thing. So if you've emailed us, don't worry, we are going to get to you. We have some people wondering like if we're ignoring them or whatever, which by the way, if we haven't messaged you back and it's been like a week, maybe email us again because we've messaged everyone back. There was one person who was in the spam for some reason, but everyone else, no, I don't think so. But then some people I think are emailing perhaps the wrong email address. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're having a sale right now and uh, for the whole month of April. It's my birthday coming up. What's the date today? 23rd. 23rd? So in two days it's my birthday. Anyway, the sale goes beyond my birthday. It goes to the last second of April and it's on our new uh, prints, which are the, uh, the, the FPs, the fingerprints. Uh, fingerprints is not a great name. That was, uh, what was her name again? Pigletto. Pigletto Wood came up with that name. Regular price on the FPs is going to be $150 right now, which is 66.6% .6 off. So you can have a, you can have a, uh, uh, some people are to think that we, we must have three days behind. Three days behind. Okay, I'm, maximum I'm three days. Working on the third day right now. Working on the third day right now. Okay. There are a ton of emails. Which, by the way, guys, thank you so much for everyone who's taking advantage of the sale. That's amazing. Um, I would show you some prints that we have available, but I, my hands are too dirty. I don't want the you know this paint to smudge off onto the prints. But trust me, they're awesome. They're actually really nice. Um, do you have a website that displays your art for sale, including the price? No, I do not. Uh, but I can tell you the price is $50. That's, that's just, that's it. just $50. So you don't need to know, like, is this one this much? Is that one that much? They're all $50. And you can check them out on the My Hands Gallery Facebook page. If you don't have Facebook, you can still browse. Uh, I do have a website where you can see some of the stuff, but you cannot order through there. So I have not been telling anything about the website. In fact, I've implored... Implored? Is that a word? It is a word. Is that the right word? Though? People not to go to the website because people are using the website anyway. Some people have suggested why not make it so no one can go to the website because I don't know how to do that. So <laughs> I suck at doing any of that kind of stuff. Website should be done soon, sort of. It's kind of, it's not up to me really. So yeah, good question, but not a great answer. Matthew Fox in the house. Thank you for moderating, Matthew. I also think I saw Hannah earlier. So thank you, Hannah, as well. Um, let's turn this on to live chat here. Um, hello, Justine, Dave, Renee. Ver, 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 <laughs> veririn, veririn. Your name is twice. Oh, you're the one who asked that. Have you seen the metal media for artwork that you can hang on the wall? Move them around. Pretty cool. 
Uh, I'm not sure what your reference are talking about, so I'm not sure if I've seen it or not. Santino, Elizabeth, uh, Susan, Gail. Oh my stars, you are me. Scary. Okay, I don't know what <laughs> that means. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Oh, I just saw someone... I. Just skip back down, but someone's husband is in the hospital. I hope, I hope it's not serious, which it usually is if it's the hospital. So I hope it gets cleared up, whatever it is. Uh, but anyway, how have you guys been? I don't know how when's the last time I did a, a live, but uh, I thought I'd hop on. Uh, today I was making uh, uh, a rooster. If you follow my Instagram at Ushitat, then then you may have seen. The progress that was the that's when I quit well just before I quit I just finished welding up that part and then I stopped from there I don't need this on um we're on a rooster day worked on two paintings today like just kind of tweaking one and the other one I'm kind of revamping um what else did we do we just got back from a really long walk walking Henry we went to, uh, uh, whatever, just the end of the road, I guess, but there was like a bed and breakfast, we thought. I'm not sure if it is or not, but anyway, took an hour and a half or so. Good walk. There's, I got a hole in my sock, but don't worry, I got a hole in the other sock from this walk. <laughs> <laughs> does that ever happen to you i was like walking i'm like i feel my heel is weird um but yeah how's the whale going not good well i haven't been doing anything with it uh good man you were on the live other minding my time you were at some arc oh yes i forgot about that that was like, two days ago was referring to not being able to find anything Gail says, I'm not sure what your last comment was. So I'm not sure what you're talking about exactly still. I don't know if I asked you already, but um, I delivered a cake order today and cleaned out my fridge. I feel like I've done a lot. That is a lot. I've seen your fridge. She has a family of uh, children. <laughs> I was going to say of uh, 12. But I don't know why I would have said that because I'm getting her mixed up with Matthew, who has 18, 18 kids, I think. I have not seen her fridge, but I hate cleaning out the fridge. I've never done it, but <laughs> I was going to say, when have you ever cleaned out the fridge? <laughs> uh, any thoughts on Alex closing up the store? Uh, yeah. I wish he didn't have to. Well, he doesn't have to. I wish he didn't want to in one sense, but I'm glad that he is, even though it disappoints people who ultimately have nothing to do with him. It sucks because it's like a cool community spot. It's fun to hang out there, I, I guess. I mean, it's, it's fun if you, you, know, you want to go there and hang out, I guess. Like I enjoy it at times. Um, but I'm glad that he's doing it because of his mental health and, uh, I don't know, as a success, Ooh, watch yourself, <laughs> uh, you know, as a successful business, but like sometimes success is not good enough if it's, you know, impeding other things that are more important. And I mean... I've talked to him about this probably, I don't know, like nine months ago or something like that. And I was like, what? Really? Ah, dang. And then he like, you know, he kind of like talked about how, you know, he went from, you know, when he was nine years old. Like you guys see in his videos. I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. Like, that's true. As far as I know. I mean, that's what he's told me since I've known him. The first time I met him was before, uh, well, before he had a YouTube channel anyway, but before I did YouTube, like, all the time. So, like, a long time ago. 
like my YouTube channel, I think is seven, six or seven years old. Um, his YouTube channel is probably like five years old, maybe something like that. So if you can think I've known him maybe five or six years, something like that. Anyway, point is, it's the first time I met him, he, uh, I was looking for a cannon and he didn't have a cannon. Uh, well, he had a cannon, but he had already sold it. I needed it to look at some uh, details so I could make a prop cannon. Um, but since he didn't have it, I didn't look at any details and I never made one. Uh, but anyway, he told me that he, like, we started talking about, like, something to do with, like, uh, uh, like, uh, American pickers and stuff. And he knows those dudes. And he knows the Canadian picker dudes, too. And, uh, he knows a lot of people. I, he used to be in, like, the film industry and stuff. And maybe that's how he knows them, plus the interest in antiques. Anyway, his point is, is that he told me that he's been doing this his whole life. And that it's, uh, he wanted to open up an antique store. And I was telling him, basically, that I thought this was the coolest antique store that I've ever been in. There's other cool ones, actually, you know. Like, there's other ones that I think are just as cool. But the typical antique store uh, is, is nice to visit, but it's not exactly a place where you're like dude i could chill here i could hang out here this has a cool atmosphere where like you can feel like you belong anyway so we talked for like i don't know probably longer than he wanted to more longer than i meant to anyway because i was just like this place is like got this cool vibe kind of like how i want my shop to be um like that my workshop i like the way that it's set up in a way that it's like more than just a workshop. It's kind of like there's an atmosphere to it. Anyways, I was talking to him about that. And then, um, I don't know, maybe a few months later. Maybe, maybe even longer than that. I don't know. Whenever he started his YouTube channel, he asked me. Because I went in there. He bought a, or he sold, he had a, first he had an anvil. But it was too beat up, so I never bought it. He shared it on his Instagram a long time ago. Then he had a anvil vice combination, and I thought it was so cool. So then I went to his store, bought it. I think it was 80 bucks. And I was like, frick, it's 80 bucks, and it's missing a piece. And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, you know what? I'll regret it if I don't get it. I didn't expect to become friends with him, I guess. But probably about this time. I've been to his store a couple of times after that. But probably this time was when I became friends with him. And uh, and then he started talking to me more about, like, you know, his past life. Like, doing stuff with the retail shops. Um, Ashley's uncle. Was he your uncle? No, it was Just like an honorary uncle. Yeah. Kind of deal. Because you called him Uncle Doug, right? Mm -hmm. Doug? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's his brother's name? John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So there's Ashley's uncle's. John and Doug were in the film industry and they happened to, well, Doug at least, uh, worked with Alex on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, I think it was. Yeah. Or some, one of, I think Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Anyway, some movie, um, some popular movie and some yeah, other movies. The TV as, show, not the movie. Oh, not the movie. Okay, the TV show and uh, some other, some other stuff too. Which I can't remember what the other things were. But anyway, so somehow we like figured that out. And I was like, what? So then, you know, I called him and I told him this stuff. And it was like a whole like, like small world type thing that happened. Anyway, so he's telling me about how he worked at these different retail places. He usually doesn't mention the ones that he worked at, so I won't either. But, uh, uh. I'm not sure why he doesn't. Maybe because he doesn't want to give them a bad name because Alex is Alex, right? He's hardly ever uh, throws anyone under the bus, even though so I totally would. <laughs> and he doesn't really talk about like the absolute shit that he's gone through either, which I think would be interesting for people to know. But in any case, he's a certain type of person, and he's been that way the, the whole time I've known him. Um... For whatever reason, he told me 
the, these like kind of personal things. And then I told him personal things about like how like when I was a baby or I was two or something like that, I was left at the babysitters for the rest of my life, all these different things. And we kind of like, whatever, 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 got uh, more friendly, I guess you could say. And then uh, moved on into the Potter's House series thing being a thing where I, I insisted that I not work at the Potter's House. I was like, no, dude, I don't know how to do cabinets. He's like, he's like, so? I'm like, I'm like, dude, I don't know how. Like, what if it turns out like crap? And he's like, they won't. And I was like, yeah, no, it won't. But like, not to me anyway. I like the things that I make. He's like, I like the things that you make. So before that, he started, he started selling some of my stuff at his store. And uh, so he just, he's only seen like whatever I shared on my Instagram plus things that I brought into his store. And, you know, um, I've probably told him a couple of things that, oh, how we learned about the, the situation with him knowing your uncles actually is because I said I wanted to do prop making. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Yeah. Anyways, so I uh, probably I told him something about that. And then, uh, that's where so many of us came to know each other and adore all the you Canadian fellas. <laughs> uh, anyway, so from here, we uh, do the Potter's House. And he tells me that I should do YouTube more seriously than I was. Like, I would just put out a video every so often, like a build video or a paint video. I did try vlogging, like, a long time ago. You can watch those. I used to end them by posting a picture on Instagram. I kind of wish I still did that because that was a cool concept. Uh, but anyway, um, we did we do the Potter House and he convinces me to do a, a vlog, a regular vlog. And I was like, dude, I suck at this kind of stuff. Like, I don't, I'm not really interested in this. And he's like, he's like, well, you might think it's fun and people might like you. You have an interesting life and a good story to your life and whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, dude, my story is such a bummer why the heck would anyone care and he's like and then he tells me more about his you know the shittier part of his life and I was just like hmm well he kind of already did tell me that but he kind of like was like telling me how like I don't know every once in a while he drops more bombs and I'm like what that's crazy because the product that has like come out of it is like you know so there's so many people who who have like who are dealt a uh, bad hand and they they don't make the most of that hand you know what I mean I don't play freaking cards so I don't even know how to make that analogy work but I don't know they life deals people different things right you everyone has a different starting point and some people's starting point even if it's like higher than say mine or or yours or whoever's you know, they fall backwards for whatever reason. Anyway, point is, is he didn't. Well, for the most part, he didn't. I would say he, <laughs> he's like, took his starting point and was like, well, I'm here. I can go up or I can go backwards. And he decided to go up or go forward, you know? Anyway, so we do the Potter's House stuff. And then, uh, um, there was like more, like there was more drama than you guys would have seen on his channel and my channel too. Like I was like, dude, you should be filming this. You should be telling this story. He has told some of it, and but I don't remember what it is. So I, I'm sorry to do this. This is very annoying when people do this. But there is like there was a huge, so frustrating, what people do. Because of someone's, uh, whatever, fame? Would you call it fame? I don't know. Is he famous? I guess he's famous in a, in a certain sense. But anyways, they try to take advantage of someone. I don't get it. But there was like, there was about three or four big, um, shitstorms, shall we say, that happened with the Potter's house. 
and then uh, <laughs> I'll tell you one bit of a story. I won't tell you. Cause you know how Alex? Ah, no, I probably shouldn't. Eh? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is so annoying when people do this. Just trust me. It was hilarious and it was terrible at the same time. I, maybe I'll convince him to tell it, tell the story on just joshing with Dakota one day or something like that. Maybe, hopefully he will. Anyway, the point is, is that he's been dealt uh, uh, these things, these you know curveballs and stuff out of his control. From there, we do some other stuff. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. I don't know why I got a coughing fit suddenly. We move on to some other projects. You know, he gets a store, which uh, we did some work in there. You have, like, you know, the YouTube comments that, you know, affect certain things. You should never read the comments, I guess. Um, stuff like that happens, and then we talk about that. We... This is probably safe to say, but sometimes, like, I will screenshot a comment and I'll send it to him. And, <laughs> like, because it's mean or it, or it's rude or something. But, like, I think it's kind of funny sometimes. Like, I'll laugh out loud, but, like, it's kind of hard to respond to that. But also, maybe you shouldn't respond. But anyway, so sometimes we talk about, you know, certain comments and, like, like, oh, this is the person who did that. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, remember when they said this? Right? And we'll make, like, a, you know, a conversation of, for, like, uh, humor out of it. Excuse me. And then, uh, from, from the store and all the drama that happened with there, which, by the way, guys, with that store, the things that you know about, like, the shittiness, there's more. There's, like, at least double with that. Like, from before that. But he, like, was always positive. He's like, oh, yeah. Got robbed again. I'm like, what? Again? He's like, yep. And, you know, all these other things. Um, he didn't really let it stop him. And then, from there, we did a couple more quarter houses. Well, he did them, and he invited me to help with some of them. Like, the Madame Rack one. Uh, then there was more drama with the Potter's House, which you guys eventually heard about. I mean, I knew about that for, like so long and I was just like dude you should make a video about this and then he, he eventually did uh uh and then uh yeah, we did the madam rack and we did I forget what the other one was called what was nicknamed I think some of one of you guys or probably several of you guys who watch him as well did that did or came up with the name or whatever um oh, I don't think I can talk about that either Something bad happened with them, unfortunately. And then there's other things, too, that eventually people will come to know. Anyways, the whole point of my long story here, starting from the beginning, is he stopped doing the storefront, I think, because of the, the stress is not worth, the stress and the drama and stuff is not worth where he's at in his life. Which I agree. And some people are mad at him for not having the store anymore. Which, I mean, you're going to have your opinions. I wish he had the store, so I understand where you're coming from. Uh, anger doesn't really make sense exactly. But, uh, check it out guys. Penny loafers again. Um, but, you know. Anyways, so the question was, what do I feel about it? Or how do I feel about it? Or something like that. I feel relieved in one sense because he deserves a break from something that is causing stress or uh, whatever the whatever the emotion is or uh, I don't know. It's like there's like a fatigue and you guys probably if you watch his channel, you can see in his face like this like frustration, right? And like you can see it in real life too because like I'd go there, you know, for whatever and he would be like, he'd be like, right? He'd have that, you know, like, you know what that, that is? Like when you, when you see people, like that ness about someone. And it was like, you know, it's like, it's frustrating. Cause like, 
he's my pal, right? So like just with any of my friends, if they're stressed about something that they can help, I always say, and I probably even tell you guys too, I tell you guys, if you work a job that doesn't respect you, if you can quit that job, go work for someone or for yourself where you can gain opportunity and like, or at least have respect or at least not hate your job. You know what I mean? I say that all the time. And with him, he's his own person. He's obviously going to do what he wants. I was like, ah, I love this store and I love like that. It's different than other antique stores. But I was like, you know what? I get it. I'm happy that I was a part of this. I'm glad that he trusted me with the, the different things that he got me to do for his store. But it makes sense because I got to know him over these five or six or seven years or however long it's been. I wish I remembered how long it was exactly. And when you get to know someone like personally, you can kind of see like changes and stuff. Like there can be positive changes, of course. And obviously, why would you hate that? But even there's changes for like that have negatives in there, you'll hate that someone has to go through something because of, you know, whatever circumstance. And then they can easily stop going um, like in me. It's a good, it's a good thing. I think. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. He's like a like a workaholic, I would say. Um, people sometimes call me a workaholic, but I don't work. I mean, I work every day. <laughs> but like, I love what I do. Literally, I wake up in the morning, I walk out to my garage, and I make something or I paint something. Or I have errands if it's Monday. <laughs> go to the post office for half an hour. <laughs> or longer. Which, we're going to go to the post office tomorrow. Or, what's the day today? Sunday. Monday. In two days. We're going to send off some more stuff. Um, right? I get to do these things. You guys, uh, and other people as well, local and whoever. You know, you commissioned me to make stuff, which I love doing. Ever since I started making stuff and painting stuff, I was like... Man, I can't wait till this is my job. And there's a lot of people who don't want to make their, like, say, hobbies or their passions their jobs because they don't want to hate it. I don't hate it. And I've been doing it for 10 years I've been painting. And I've been doing it, like, full-time, let's say, for the last... Let's say full, full-time for the last... Three years? Painting and making, let's say. I would say, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been, but like, I don't hate it at all. And if I did, if I did hate it, I hope I would have the, the sense to stop doing it the way that I was doing it. You know what I mean? But you know, that's why I do the amount of things that I do because I can, I can go from like today, I made the rooster. Well, first I started off on Patreon. We're making a, um, uh, like a project for Patreon giveaways. So I did that in the morning. I What did I do in the morning? I can't remember what I did in the morning. But anyways, in the like around lunchtime or so, I did the Patreon build. Then I got did, did painting. Then I went to the rooster. Then I went back to the painting. Then I went for a walk. And now I'm talking to you guys. It's awesome. And, uh, like, I'm able to do this without neglecting any of my responsibilities. And I am, like, super grateful for everyone who buys my art, buys my, like, little projects or whatever, supports me on the different things with, uh, uh, like, Patreon and stuff, like I just mentioned. With Patreon, though, like, it's, it's, uh, I feel cringy when I say, join my Patreon, because, like, I hope it's worth it for the people who are there. I hope they like the perks. Um, but yeah, and watching my YouTube videos, like I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel and same with my brother, Dakota, which by the way, if you don't follow Dakota, go uh, go follow him. Um, Madness channel. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, doing the YouTube thing. I didn't know I was going to enjoy it, but now I love making the videos because I'm like, uh, hmm, like the last video. If you notice that the opening, the opening scene. Yeah, I think the opening scene. Like I wanted to make it a one continuous shot. And so I had to film that like five times because I had multiple pieces of door jam. And that was the last piece that still had nails in it. And I was like, oh, that's better. Because like I had and I still wasn't completely happy with it, but it was the best one. So I come in, I put down the camera, come into the door, grab the piece of wood. I don't I didn't like how I came into the door and immediately went to the I wish I would have looked at the camera first, but I didn't. But whatever. I only had that piece left, right? Did the thing, whatever. And then you can see me grab the camera, which is fine that I did that, but it's better if it was kind of hidden a little bit. Grab the hammer. You know, anyways, I like doing that kind of elements. And it's thanks to Alex actually that I did that. But anyway, point is is I'm not a workaholic. I just like to do a lot of things. Alex is a workaholic, I would say. I think he has said that himself too. I think he's told me that several times actually. But he like when he does something like his store, he's like, "Yep, yeah, closing the store." I go there, there's nothing in there. I was like, "Holy shit, oh, dude, where did everything go?" Like, cause my mom bought a camera from him, and so I was like, "Okay, maybe he will he'll trade it or whatever or do something." I don't know. I didn't expect him to because you know sometimes these things happen, and my mom didn't care either. I was just like, "Maybe he will." So we'll go there. I'm like, oh, he has no cameras here, so never mind. I was like, dude, everything's gone already. And he, he's like, yeah, I work fast. Well, on that day, of course, he still has like these stresses and stuff. But on that day, it was like a different Alex. It was like the old Alex. He's on to a new adventure, doing things. And he, he's told me some things that he's going to do with his property and stuff. So you guys are going to have... Like, you're going to see a couple more adventures. This is going to be cool. So we'll see. I don't know when he's going to be able to do everything, but there's some cool things coming. Um, does that answer your question? <laughs> that was like half an hour. Uh, uh, my husband is definitely a workaholic more than Alex. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's a competition per se, but yeah, that people are... Uh, I'm not. I, like, every day, like, like, what time is it right now? 9.21. So, I'm probably gonna eat supper here. Or we're gonna eat supper. And then we're going to probably watch, what's that show called? Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever. Okay, if you guys haven't seen Never Have I Ever, is it on Netflix? Yeah, it's cute. It's on Netflix, you might like it. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, we'll probably watch that, and then maybe... After that, I'll go back out to paint or or not. I don't know. If I was a workaholic, I'd be like, as soon as I'm done this, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. Then I'm going to eat supper. Then I'm going to go back out. And then I'm going to go to bed. You know, I'm not like that because I think it's important to rest. And I'm not calling anyone who is a workaholic who is like functional in that sort of way that you're dumb or anything. Like, it's just for me. Yeah, I'm busy, but like... Like, I try to, like, diversify my day so that I'm not getting frustrated with things, you know? It's like a a, a balancing act, you know? Mm -hmm. Do equal by my art. I wish more artists could have the minor success that I have because so many have zero. And it's just like, man, you're so talented. I wish you could sell your work or I wish you would even try. Lots of people don't even try because they think they're not good enough or whatever, whatever, whatever. But like, um, what was I just saying? Shit. <laughs> people say I'm lucky. Oh, yeah. But like, I try to put the proper amount of work into things. So I'm like, okay, what can I do? I have to paint a picture. Right. So if I make a picture that is just for me, then I have to expect that no one's going to buy it. Um, or I'll paint a picture that, you know, I think a lot of people like, but I have to like it. Otherwise, then I'm not going to like it. I have to like it. or Otherwise, I'm not going to like it. That's kind of a oxymoron. Is that an oxymoron? No, that's a 
that was just a dumb way to word that. But uh, um, I don't know. I have a I have a brain that works the way that I understand it, and it's kind of hard to put into words that makes sense to other people at times. And I, I'm struggling with the words, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So actually, yeah, I am busy, but I'm not. I'm not unhappy with my work kind of thing. Yeah. Right? I don't think ever. Sometimes I don't like making things that I've like committed to. And I'm like, oh, I have to make that whatever. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just like sometimes you got to have like the, the bug for it, if you want to call it that. You know, so like I get artist block all the time. I'll be like gung-ho into a painting like that whale painting that was brought up earlier i thought i was going to do that in one day because i just had this vision and i changed it and i was like why did i change it and i was like okay i'll work with this and then i just changed it again and i changed it i think i changed it three times i don't know and i was like you know what i'm going to take a break from this and i'm going to do something else so now i'm working on the four other paintings i think Something like that. Yeah. I forget what exactly what I was saying. I am lucky, as people say, in one sense. But, like, the harder you work, the luckier you... The luckier... The luckier you are. The harder you work, the luckier you, you are. That sounds weird. Is that how you say that? The harder you work, the luckier you are. Yeah. That's it. Which is to say, there's no such thing as luck. I mean, there is in some sense but like the more you do about your you know what you want or need or whatever the bigger chance of that becoming successful so like there's a lot of artists here who often ask like hey how do you do this how do you do that um biggest question is how do you get your work out there start instagram go to places that sell artwork doesn't have to be a gallery. It can be a coffee shop. It can be a library. It can be a, a freaking uh, a dental office. Just go there. Be like, hey, I'm an artist. You don't have any art on your walls. Can I put my art on this wall? I'll pay you a commission for selling it for me. Do you still have art at that dental clinic? Physio clinic. Uh, yeah, I do. That's from like 10 years ago. No, that's from like 8 years ago. Yeah, I don't even... I don't even know. I wonder if they went out of business because they're called Corona. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Corona Physio Therapy. But they moved. Yeah. I wonder if they changed their name when they moved and they asked if they could keep it. And I was like, oh, I forgot it was even there. That what? penguin one. Remember the penguin oh, one? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Uh, sometimes it's hard to create something when you're doing it because you have to, not because you're inspired to do it. Yeah, so inspiration I like to have. Do you have any plans for your birthday? Ask Karen. Karen, by the way, I think this is the Karen Koss. K-A-U-S, that's the one? Yeah. She's the one who came up with the whole list that we have on the Facebook page of all the prints that are available. We had to modify it for this sale because some of them are not available in the sale, but thank you, Karen. Do I have any uh... We're going to go see Spider-Man. We're going to buy it, I guess. We're going to buy it, I guess. And then we're going to watch it at home. But Please. You should never feel cringy about Patreon. People who are there are there because they want to be. Patrons have existed in the art world for thousands of years. Great work of art wouldn't exist. I agree. It just feels weird. Like One thing I will never do is like... A... What are they called? Like a Kickstarter? No. Kickstarter is different. What's the GoFundMe? I wouldn't do a GoFundMe. That's, I mean, not that it's wrong to do that. Other people, you know, sometimes that's their only avenue. But I don't need a, a GoFundMe. I mean, I need money and, you know, as everyone does. But, like, I, that's, that's, like, I just wouldn't be able to do that. I would feel awkward. And I probably would not accept the money. I would refund it all. I wouldn't be able to do it. But if any of you, I don't want anyone to think that, if you guys have done it, I'm not judging no one. I don't care if anyone else does it. It's just not for me. OnlyFans? Oh. <laughs> um, I saw this. Uh, 
I don't know if College Humor does it or who does it, but they do like a skit where it's like the CEO of something. Um, like CEO of one of them was OnlyFans, one of them was like Facebook, one of them was Apple, but it's they're acting and they're doing a skit where like the, the CEO is like he doesn't know how his company is operating and the OnlyFans one. Dude, hilarious. I thought it was real at first. That was the first one I ever saw. They're like, it's all, it's all prawn. That's the PG way to say porn, I guess. He's like, how much of it? Like 99%. What? You got, you should watch it. It's hilarious. Um, no, I don't have an OnlyFans. I never will. I don't think anyone would pay for that anyway. <laughs> but, uh. Um, only fan you never heard of that that's like uh it's not supposed to be oh well, i don't know that's where a lot of like insta hoes you know they have like, extra content you know uh, <laughs> her face she's like oh i shouldn't have asked that she's like <laughs> uh, i thought it was something art related <laughs> I mean, you can't, I've seen the, like, the commercial or, like, the ads for it, and it's always, like, not that. It's always, like. But that's how it turned out to be. Yeah, I don't know why exactly. Maybe because of the pandemic. There's, like, I don't know. No one could make money, so that, or, like, I don't know. People taking advantage of the, you know, perverts, I guess, or whatever. Oh, my God. more. <laughs> uh, by the way, I like your haircut, Josh. Oh, thanks. Uh, I missed just Josh with Dakota. When is it coming back? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. How's Dilly Dilly Dalton been doing? You know, I try to text him every once in a while, but he never texts me back, so I don't know. Do you have him on your phone? Um, yeah, he does, but like, I uh, have his number still. Oh. GoFundMe seems to be more case more for cases for people who need money in an emergency. Let's hope you never need to. Yeah, true that. But there's also people who have it like they're like, hey, saving up for a quad if you want to help me out, right? Like, which is fine. I need a quad, and if someone wanted to give me a quad, I would be super grateful. But like, I would try to like trade something for it or pay them back. You know what I mean? And, like, it's just the GoFundMe for me is just, I don't need a quad that bad. Now, if I was, like, dude, my, I don't know. I don't even, can't even think of a scenario. Which brings me to this point. Someone hacked uh, one of my followers. Sounds weird to say that. Someone who follows me on Instagram hacked them and is trying to get me to join their their crypto something mentorship. Um, I know it's not them because I asked them how they heard of me and they said Instagram, which is a lie because even in the same conversation thread, they they knew about me because of the Potter house. But anyways, so I forget what your name is, but you're female and your account is hacked. Um, what was I going to say? Shit, what was my point? We're just talking about, oh yeah, if anyone ever sets up a GoFundMe and pretends it's me, never donate to a GoFundMe that's for me, because I will never do one. Or Ashley. That happened to you before, remember? No, it's not a GoFundMe. What was it? It was a fake Instagram. Yeah, they were asking for money, though. Someone was pretending to be me and asking for money on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a fake Instagram account, and they like took my pictures. Yeah, but they were lazy about it. They all yeah. made them all square. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we'll we'll never do that ever. You know what I will do? I'll be like, hey, buy my art, because then you get something in return. You know, I have no problem selling art. Which, by the way, buy my art, please. <laughs> we're having a sale for the whole month of April. Normally one hundred fifty bucks. Now it's for fifty dollars. Ashley is currently answering emails. How many are there? Here? Yeah. I can't count these. Too many to count. There's so many. <laughs> How many count these off? No, that's okay. I know that I just picked up. 
There's an inch of order so far. And then there's the other pile. Yeah. Well, no, this isn't counting the ones that you've already sent out. Yeah, I know. Or equally as big pile. But this is like the new one. This is going out on tomorrow. Yeah. On Monday. Monday. And then we have another pile that's going to go out probably on Wednesday. I'm going to the post office twice a week instead of uh, instead of once a week. Just because, you know, so people are asking, like, hey, did you send it out yet? Uh, kind of hard to answer those, by the way. I don't know, because, like, I just take a stack, like, I like this just much. I figure it out, though. <laughs> oh, are you they can? sending it to you on Instagram, or? Just emails, Instagram, wherever. I always just say. An email, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess you can ask. I always just was just like, I, I don't know. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like... No, I can tell. There's too many. Like, if it's just one person, or if it's a name that I recognize, like, if I remember it, or if it's someone who's, like, a regular who I can be like, oh. Or, coincidentally, if it's someone who never orders anything, then I also recognize them. I'm like, who is Buttcheeks34? I've never seen that name before. There is no Buttcheeks34, but... I would remember that. <laughs> That's probably their uh, their uh, OnlyFans name. Uh, I've heard of cryptocurrency. It sounds associated to me. Well, I have some crypto, but like, I don't get it. Like, I get that it's going to be a thing eventually where I will wish that I did more stuff. But like NFTs, people keep telling me, dude, drop some NFTs. I'm like... Dude, if you want something, just copy a picture that you see online and print that out, or not print it out, sorry, how do you say, like, put it on your phone. That's the same thing to me. And you don't have to buy it. Please don't steal my art, but, like, I don't get NFTs at all. Like, we're, like, oh, yeah, you got it on the blockchain, bro. I probably, that's probably not. Right, but like I'm just that too. Crypto synced and or something. I don't even know. I don't even get it. But anyways, <laughs> Renee says gotta change my name to Butt Cheeks Thirty Four now. <laughs> Went to the post office the other day and bought my sharpie, and they only had a sign that asked. You not to ask the clerk to load not to ask the clerk to load up your crap. Yeah, you sent me that picture. I would have changed that sign. Uh, love the Einstein paintings. I just don't have a place to put it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Uh, Josh, I'm excited. I ordered four prints from you. Bought two cutting boards at Christmas and now art. Thank you so much. They're on to you at the post office. Yeah, they are. I made a short video with Hans in Alex's store along with a recent video walkthrough about Alex or Josh. I hope you don't mind me saying my channel. Oh, well. Look at these guys just trying to trying to just piggyback off me. No, that's okay, Dave. I don't care. Uh, you said it was before the end. You should have a guess how many fingerprints have been sold so far. Uh, by the way, the contest... I think I probably said it was going to be in the next live, but it's actually going to be on my birthday, which is going to be on the 25th. So on the 25th, we're going to have a game where we're going to give away a fingerprint. And that's not going to be it, but that is a good idea. Uh, but also, I don't know how many. Probably like 500. Not literally. That would be awesome, though. We did figure out, though, that we would have made, if we would have sold these for like the regular price, we would have made close to 30 grand already. Not including these. But I was like, what? <laughs> I can't breathe. I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Not really. But that would have been sick. Uh, but thank you to everyone who's taken advantage of the sale. That like That's awesome. Art by the inch. Yeah. Hey, Josh, I've been trying to catch you on the live for a while now. Glad I did. Hope all is well. Just wanted to say hello. Hello, Miguel. Miguel? Miguel Cancel. Uh, lol at a trillion. What is that number? I don't know. Did anyone figure out the what not shovel yet? You said what want not shell, but I think you meant what not shovel shovel. So, uh, no, no one has guessed it. I have a lot of people. Okay, I have to. I have to. 
You can't ask me. You tell me if it's in Shawshank Redemption. Don't ask me if it is. You gotta tell me if it is. And just prove it to me that it's in that movie. And then you'll win. Uh, which, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, What Not Shovel on Redemption is a new game that we're playing. It will be on my channel for the end of time, till the end of time. Well, until someone guesses, I guess. The game is, where is What Not Shovel on Redemption from? Okay? Where, where was that phrase uttered originally? Does that make sense? That makes sense. That makes sense. I think. I hope. So, uh, if you can tell me what that is, you will win a canvas print of your choice. Okay? Valued up to, currently they're valued up to 1600 bucks. Well, some of them are more expensive, but any one of your choice, even the ones that are more expensive than that, any of them, I will, as long as it's still available, of course, you will get that. Is the movie called Redemption? I wanted to watch it now. <laughs> oh, it's buffering for one person here and another person says it's breaking up. Uh, where is the list of prints? It's on Facebook, uh, Mary Beth. On the My Hands Gallery Facebook page. It's not on the Ushitat Facebook page. I see a lot of people being like, hey, it's not there. But that's, that's a different Facebook page. Um, 25 years old on the 25th. Ask Jan. Uh, no, but I will be close. Uh, Josh just lost the game. Oh, look what she just did. Um, anyway, so, yeah, no one guessed that. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about now, and I think it's, what time is it? 9.41. How are you so wrong all the time? It was 9.35. Oh, really? That's wrong. That must not have sat, that's weird. Yeah, that should not be wrong. Maybe this phone, but this shouldn't be wrong either. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, uh, I almost feel like it's uh, the office reference. <laughs> okay, so this question. Or this comment here. Funny thing. Type in whatnot and Google algorithm pops up. Whatnot shovel on redemption. Hey, you can use Google. Because people have been Googling it. There must have been. <laughs> there must have been. I Googled it, guys. I Yahooed it. I binged it. I duck duck goat it. No one knows what it is. But I guarantee you there is a way to find it. Okay? That is... A, the biggest hint I can give you. That's not the biggest hint. That's not even close to the biggest hint. That is a good hint I can give you. But there is no, there is no, the rules are, or sorry, the, the game is that I'm not giving any hints. If I slip out a hint, use it to your advantage. But I'm not going to give hints. I get questions all the time. Is it from this? And I just ask them back, is it? Because you're not watching the movie. Like, this is, you know, a couple, this is like a over a thousand dollar prize. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to give away that for free. So you have to do the work. I'm not doing the work for you, you know what I mean? It's just like, uh, you don't have to buy anything. All you have to do is find it, the, 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 where it's from. And you have to tell me where it's from, not ask me where it's from, if you know what I'm saying. Uh... It's supposed to be fun, too, so don't get bent out of shape because I don't give you more hints. If you don't want to play, then don't play. But the game is you got to do it yourself. Or you can do it in a group. All of you could do it. Only one of you gets the picture, but I guess you could cut it up into a bunch of pieces. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think we'll end it there. I'm about to hire a private eye. <laughs> do it. I bet you they could find it. I found it, by the way. That's another hint. That's a big hint. I found it. Okay? I found it. So. 
I really want to tell you more of how I found it, but I'm not going to. It is findable. It is findable. Okay, guys. I'm done my drink. It was fun hanging out with you guys. Can you take this for me, please? Yeah, cat on your lap. I got this cat here. I didn't want her to disturb her. Look at her. This is straight chilling. Archie's outside. Archie's outside. Um, it's like the Holy Grail. A question quickly: Do you email us when your orders have been shipped? No, we just ship them. We ship them on the next, the the soonest we can, the next mailing day. Uh, okay. Yeah, Miles over at AirClicks, he's obviously printing them off. He ran out of paper, so we, you know, we had to wait for more to come in. So some of them are a little later than we were hoping, but I already mentioned that in another video. If you're curious, well, I mean, I don't know if you'll, so the emails are answered in order mm -hmm. of when they're emailed. There's hundreds of them. I guess they're from the oldest. Yeah, so. Ashley starts from the Ola. So if you email and then email again and email again. It keeps making it more yeah. recent so that I won't Yeah, it. so don't do that. Yeah. I mean, unless you don't care or whatever. Also, another thing, please only email from one thread. So there are some people who will email for, with their order, email back, uh, whatever. And then they'll email again, but from a different thread. But then they, they're email is not getting answered because of whatever then we letters. finally get to it and then it's like oh, okay well let's find their other email to see what they're actually talking about okay and then they email again from another a few people are doing that if you can no you you definitely can but please remember to put it all in the one thread and uh, to make it as quick as possible and I'm sorry that this is such an annoying ordering process but uh, if you live outside of the U.S., or sorry, out of Canada, in your email with your inquiry, also include your mailing address. If you ask, hey, how much is it to such and such a state or country? Can't really tell you that because we need to know what your postal code is or your zip code is or whatever. So put in your whole, your entire mailing address, including the country. Most people, for whatever reason, don't put it in the country, but put in the, not most people, plenty of people though, put in the country, put in your phone number. If you're outside of Canada, if you're in Canada, we don't need it. Uh, and that's just for customs. We're not going to call you or anything. So you don't have to be worried about being annoyed or whatever by people calling you for, I don't think anyone calls you. I'm not even sure why they do it, but they require it at the post office. So put in your phone number. Which, by the way, if people don't give a phone number, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Five 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 five. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I uh, yeah, I need the address, the phone number, what you would like, and how you would like to pay. Sorry, I don't really do this. I'm just trying to think. Ashley usually does it, and we can do PayPal. We can do e-transfer if you're in Canada. E-transfer is a Canadian thing. We can do credit cards, I think all of them, and we can do, that's it, right? I think the credit card um, invoice also accepts debit, some debit. Oh, but maybe we can do debit. I don't entirely, maybe okay. someone can answer that for me. I think it does in some, but like depending on where you live. Okay. And by the way, yeah. for when people are doing their credit card things, we don't, we don't keep any of that. No, it's all through. Like, we don't know what your credit card is. So don't worry about that. And when we had to do it manually, whoosh, deleted all those emails immediately. So there was no, no one could hack and do anything. I don't know what, I don't even know why the worry was so, but we value your guys's like, what did you call that? Patronage? Your, your business? That sounds weird. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, and we never want anything to go badly uh, if it's if it's uh, like something that we can help, especially, you know. So thank you. Oh, do we do Apple Pay? Uh, we don't have whatever. Google Pay says we accept Apple Pay and Google Pay. So that must be through Square. We can do Apple Pay and Google Pay. Oh, I thought they were asking. They were saying we do. 
I didn't know that. How do we do that? I think it's through square. Through square? Okay. I did not know that at all. Okay, Ash is going to just, just look it up. double check. Privacy is the word you're looking for. Uh, I don't think so. I yeah, I value you guys buying art is different than privacy. Or maybe I was saying something else. Now I want apple pie. Oh, yo, I want an ice cream cake. And apple pie, actually. Uh, square, square up accepts. That's how I pay. Square up. Square up? Square up. Wait, that's what it means? Yeah. I thought it was because it was in the shape of a square. What? Square up, dude, that's clever. Uh, have you thought about using Google Forms as an order form? I don't know what that is, uh, so no. But uh, uh, the website, when we have that, it'll be super easy. You literally click on it, say what size you want or what edition you want. <laughs> click it, snap it, bop it. Oh, only if it's like a um, Visa debit. Oh, so if it's Visa debit, then you can do Apple Pay? Medic. No, no, no. Or Google Pay. I said debit. It has to be like a Visa debit. Oh, Visa debit. Okay. Um, I'm looking at Apple Pay. I can't see that it says Apple Pay, but Blue Pay says... That's how they do it. Yeah. That looks so you, it must work. I don't know. If you want to try that, guys, then we'll, we'll give it a go. I don't know how to... I mean, I, maybe you just have already been doing it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what Apple Pay or Google Pay is, so... I pay the old-fashioned way. It's cash. Or a debit card. Beep, beep. And then, uh, you know what sucks? My debit card used to be have a 12-digit pin. It was a real conversation starter. <laughs> I'd go to the store and I'd be like, and they're like, wow, long pin. That was the whole conversation, really. But, like, now my new card can't do that. I was like, what is this? I go to the bank to get it because they said that my Boy, we're alive. We're alive. Sorry about the buffering, guys. Uh, I forget what I was saying, but Ashley has just figured this out. Credit, Visa Debit, Apple Pay, Google Pay. Mm. That's what Square Up accepts. Apple Pay, Google Pay, Debit, Credit. PayPal. PayPal. E-transfer. E-transfer. What? Not Square, but that's other things oh. we accept. <laughs> Those are the same ways that we can take payment. Yeah. Uh, someone also asked me if they could pay in Bitcoin. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what a Bitcoin is worth. Well, one coin is like thousands of dollars. <laughs> so I don't even know. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I don't, I don't freaking know. Uh, so no, you can't pay with crypto. I mean, I guess that would be wise if it gets like mad value all the way up to here. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to go now. Apple Pay uses your credit slash debit card to set up their accounts, basically you. Okay. Uh, you can use a credit card through PayPal as well. Hmm. There's, there's plenty of ways. The only thing is, though, is that it takes a lot of fees depending on which it is. I think the PayPal and Square are very similar. Was it like $2? on how big the invoice is, but it's like a percentage of the invoice. Like 1%? I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly. I have Less than 1%? Or over 1%? Is it like 10%? No, it's not 10%. Okay, because I'd be like, what? That would be insane. Uh, can we pay the old-fashioned way with barter? <laughs> so Four apples. So, sometimes people have good trades though. Hey, I'm looking, Kate. I'm looking for a 1988 <laughs> 4x4 Wait, XLT. I'm looking for. I'm, uh, ye old barter system. <laughs> I'm looking for a 1988 XLT 4x4 Ford Ranger. Short box, single cab, automatic. With the electric windows that would be that's that's the unicorn okay i don't care what color it is but that it has to be clean no rust has to be four by four 
If anyone has one of those, I will give you, I'll paint you a custom original, whatever you want. Uh, uh, would you settle for a bucket of milk? It's not really the same. Can't really drive a bucket of milk. I'm also looking for a, a, a Polaris. Uh, what's the one? I can't remember what I was looking at. Maybe it's a 900. I don't know. Polaris 900 uh, Ranger, which is same name, Ranger, but it's totally different. It's like a side-by-side. -side. It's like a quad with a steering wheel. The Ford Ranger is a pickup truck. And I'm also looking for a Polaris Sportman, I think it is. 750, I think. With a blade on it. Hand warmers, too. And also, a vintage quad would be great because they're skinnier and they could fit in my trails better. I was thinking, I almost bought a, a trike. I was seriously thinking about it. And then, and then I decided against it because my brother was like, my brother Dave was like, you're not going to be able to do what you want to do with that. And I was like, ah, oh, dang it. I thought a trike would be good because I could go through my trails with it easier than a quad because it's, you know, it's skinny on the front. It'd be easier. Maybe one day we'll get it anyway. But I don't know. Anyone want to trade a skid steer? Good idea, Martha. At one point, someone said that they would, uh, uh, they needed to get rid of a, a forklift, but they changed their mind or something. Um, but anyway, now we're just talking about like vehicles. Is this, 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 this the vehicle podcast? Or I mean, live? No, it's not. Uh, my buddy used to drive the exact Ford Ranger you were describing back in, in about 1995. It was an 88 though. The 88 is the last year of the first generation. The next generation went up to 96, I believe. But uh, anyway, guys, I said I was going to go like a long time ago. So we're going to go now. So thank you, everyone. If you want to take advantage of the sale, it goes until the last day. And we're going to be playing a game on the 25th to give away one of the things. And if I had clean hands, I would show you some of what we have. But I don't have clean hands. And... Like the paper is like, oh. so anyway, I see <laughs> why are you laughing? Uh, what color, what color of truck? I don't care what color or quad or the, or the other, the players ranger side by side. Enjoy your meal. Bye guys. Oh shit. I forgot about supper. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Thank you so much everyone for hanging out. I'll see you guys later.